Here we are in our example form 1040 populated with Lacert tax software. You don't need tax software to follow along, but it's a great tool to run scenarios with. You can also get access to the form 1040 related forms and schedules at the IRS website, irs.gov, irs.gov. Starting point as usual, we've got the single filer, Mr. Anderson, W-2 wages, 100000 12950 on the standard deduction, 87050 for the taxable income mirrored over here in our tax software tax formula, 100000 12950 getting us to the 87050 page two, doing the calculation of the tax. 14774, 15,000 withheld to get to the bottom line of 226, mirrored over here as well. However, we're focused up top on the calculation of the taxable income and focusing in on the itemized deductions and the particular deduction of the charitable contributions. Now remember, the charitable contributions are going to be in the itemized deduction area. You might have uh, remembered in a prior year where they basically uh, tried to kind of move some, some charitable contributions onto the first page of the 1040. But now we're back to basically where we were before that, that all the charitable contribu contributions are in the uh, itemized deduction area. Therefore, uh, you're only going to get a benefit generally from the charitable contributions if you're doing the itemized deductions. So remember, you're going to only itemize if you have itemized deductions that are adding up to greater than the standard deduction of 12950 for single filers, 25900 for married uh, filers. If you're talking with people or yourself filing tax returns that are nowhere near that threshold, it might not be worth your time to track all the information that you're giving to charity in as much detail if you're only doing that for your tax records because you might not be getting a benefit uh, for your tax records. Now, you would also want to check out your state as well. Sometimes state regulations, if you have an income tax, might have some benefit from, from charitable contributions as well. We're focused on the federal tax side of things uh, at this point in time. So also note, what's the main thing that usually pushes people over to be taking the itemized deductions? Owning a home, because that's where they have the real estate uh, loan. The loan's gonna have the interest on it typically, and they're gonna have the property taxes. Those are the two big ones that push us over. Once we are over the threshold, once we are already itemizing, then picking up anything else we can would be good, such as the medical, although they, al they also have that floor such as now the charitable contribution. So now they're going to kick in and be, be helping us out uh, if we're over the threshold. So let's first imagine we're not over the threshold. Setting your threshold Christmas caroler. And we plug in some itemized deductions. So you're, you're I'm going to jump, let's jump on over this way. I'll just go right into it here. Deductions. And we're going to say itemized deductions. And we're going to say contributions. Now, generally, we're going to be, for most of them, I'm going to be plugging into the 60% uh, percent limitation up top. And I'm going to say that these are going to be the normal kind of categorizations, which would be things like cash contributions for churches, mosques, and so on. Uh, the, the scouts, boys and girls clubs, and so on. The normal type of charitable contributions. It'd be good if we can list out the actual charities here. Uh, but I'm just going to put various, various charities and i'm going to put you know i'll say 500 into various charities and i'm going to say okay and then bring it on back to the forums now we've got the 500 but the only other thing that has been included up top is i got to get rid of those points is going to be the taxes you paid so that means even with the points here <laughs> that i'm going to remove that's still way under nowhere near the cl close enough to get us to where we need to be to clear even the single filer uh, standard deduction of the 12950 So for most people, the charitable contributions aren't going to be the thing that does it. Could be if they had an outstanding, they just gave a lot of money one year, but that's kind of rare. It's That's not usually the thing that's going to be kicking people over. So what is going to kick people over? Let's add the the home information and then we'll tack on the charitable contributions and we'll have a better benefit okay so now i have added i i've removed the charitable contributions for now and just added the big item 
which is the interest on the home. Let's say it was 12,000, 1098 uh, mortgage interest and then the property taxes of 3,000. And then I'm just gonna add the 1,017 for the state uh, for the state tax. So let's put that over here and mirror that in our worksheet. I'm gonna say schedule A, mortgage interest 12,000, real estate taxes 3,000. The system is calculating the state tax at 1,017. 1017 that brings us up to the 1617 is that what shows here 1617 that pulls into page one of the form 1040 so that's going to be pulling into the 1617 because it's greater than the standard deduction of the 12,950 as we see in our worksheet here we could see the 100,000 the greater of itemized deduction 1617 over the 12,950 therefore picking up the 1617 to get us down to the uh, 83 983 uh, and then we've got the taxes let's let the software do the tax calculation which is the 1492 so we're going to say all right 14 14 this is 14092 boom okay i'm going to delete this for now and now we can add the charitable contributions and they should give us some more benefit at this point. So we're gonna go, okay, let's add the charitable contributions now. We're gonna say this is gonna be the various items. Let's just put 500. And then now it's worthwhile for us to, to track that stuff, make sure we have the receipts and whatnot from the charitable organizations and we get that 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 oftentimes shoebox full of charitable contribution type of stuff and it's worth going through and adding those up to get the 500 because that's going to add a little bit more benefit here right so now it's tacking on because we're already itemizing so i can go back on over here and say let's go to to the gifts charity 500 is going up that brings us to the 16 uh 517 is that what we have here yep let's go to the page one of the 1040 104 roger that roger out so there's the 100,000 the 16517 and that gets us to the 83483 and then if i let the software do the calculation 13982 so we were at we were at this 1409 and now we're at the 13982 so there now we've got a benefit lowering the taxes by 110 if i did that right 13982 from the charitable contributions so that's how that's the general process their work if they're nice easy uh cash contributions now there is a limit on the contributions and it's based on the agi limit here right so if i put in a whole lot of contributions which would be somewhat unusual for me to put like what eighty thousand contributions in uh let's say when i made a hundred thousand so so now i made a hundred thousand i put eighty thousand contributions and we're going to go down and say that it's been limited to uh the sixty thousand 